out of this wonderful mayor. It is absolutely wonderful to be here with you in the great city of Dayton. Earlier this morning, I was in Columbus, Ohio for a breakfast of several thousand people honoring Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. Following that, I went to Ohio State University and met with hundreds of young college students who are going out today and working throughout the community to build a better place and to help people in need, and I am so proud of them. And then coming to this city and seeing the marchers as you were coming from various sections of this great city and gathered in this square, it makes my heart feel good. I'm wondering today how Dr. King would feel if he were here. He'd feel good. As the mayor has said, I think Dr. King would be so pleased and proud to know that a young, talented, eloquent, committed African-American man was running to be the President of the United States of America. And I also think he would feel good that we had a Hispanic candidate and a Mormon candidate and a woman candidate. Dr. King was a transformational figure, not only in America and in American history, but I believe he was one of the great transformational figures in all of human history as well. I look out upon you today and I see young people and old people. And some middle-aged people. Especially middle-aged people. I see men and women, I see black people and white people, and I know that there are Hispanic people here. You know, Ohio has something to be really proud of. We are among the most diverse of all the states in the great United States of America. We have diversity in people, in culture, in religion, in tradition. We have great cities and small towns. We are a diverse people and we should celebrate that diversity. It is our strength. And here in Dayton today, we say no to discrimination. We say no to intolerance. We say yes to inclusion. We want Ohio to be a state where all peoples feel welcome and included. I wonder what Dr. King would encourage us to do today. I think he would say, congratulations, you've come a fur piece. But I know he would say there is much more work that needs to be done. I wonder what it is that we could do, my friends, if we weren't afraid. So much of what controls our society is fear. We are afraid of the other. We are afraid of those who are different, who look different, who dress differently. We are afraid of those of different backgrounds and religions, those from different ethnic and cultural origins. And that fear drives us apart from one another. And that fear causes bad things to happen. I believe we are in a war today because we have been controlled by fear. I believe there is too much intolerance today because we are afraid. And I wonder what it is 
that those of us in this great state of Ohio and in this great country of America could accomplish if we would cast aside fear and, as Barack Obama says, embrace hope. Yeah. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope for a more just and fair society. Hope for greater opportunity for all people. That's the mission that Dr. King has left for us. We cannot disappoint him. Forty years, forty years have passed since this great man was taken from us. And in that time, we have not forgotten his vision or his dream. I'm proud of the fact that we have a national holiday in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Our nation has made progress, we will make progress, yes. but we can only make progress when we pull together and work together, dream together and hope together and pray together and work together. So it is my great privilege, my friends, to be here to address you today, to pledge to you that I will do what I can do that these other officials sitting on this platform with me will do what they can do to help pursue and ultimately to realize the great dream that Dr. Martin Luther King shared with us. We honor him today, we remember him today, and we take to heart his words. He said, after all is done, we will not so much remember the words of our enemies, but we will remember the silence of our friends. We cannot be silent any longer. We will not be silent. We will, as he encouraged us to do, work together in a non-violent revolution to make Ohio and America a better place for all of us. Thank you, and God bless you.